Um, these guys are all heading off now. Oh no. Yeah, they're after the pig. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at five animal add-ons that have been tested working in Minecraft Education. Also, the links to those are going to be in the description below. And make sure you stick around to the end of today's video because we are going to be applying all of those add-ons into the same world and seeing what happens there. Okay, let's dive in and look at our first pack. This is the animals pack, the Asian animals pack. And this is kind of a two-in-one because we're going to download uh, the, the, hot, the pack itself and we're going to download the reptiles add-on. So here we are, we'll just get redirected and there's the download. Easy stuff. Now once you've applied these, uh, the resource pack and the behavior pack for both, uh, then you just scroll down into your inventory. You can see straight away uh, the ones that are, are not in the normal vanilla Minecraft. They look completely different. Uh, so let's go through and chuck a few of these into our inventory and start putting them down. Um, yeah, an elephant sounds quite good. Let's get an elephant in there. Right, so we're just going to right click and here we go. So remember the link for this one's in the description. Put down a peacock there and um, I'm going to run an orangutan, sorry. And um, yeah, they're cool. I mean, obviously in a jungle biome, they'd fit in a little bit more. Um, but I think in a nice um, infinite world like this, we can see what's going on a little bit more clearly. Uh, these look really good. Like the textures are good. The sizes um, aren't too bad. Um, some of these, you know, you put it down and they're the complete wrong size in relation to each other. But I think they're not a million miles away. I think the rhino um, maybe is a bit small. I don't know. Um, Tiger just ran off straight away, but yeah, it's a cool pack. So the next one is called the Cuter Animals Resource Pack. Um, and what this one does is it actually just takes the normal skins for your for the entities, for the animals, and it just tweaks them a little bit. So we've got this countdown, we're going to skip add, get redirected, and here is our download link, nice and easy. And uh, we just, um, yeah, download it, double click, and it should load up in Minecraft for us. So. Here is how the pack looks, and um, you can see normal creatures that are in Minecraft look a little bit different. So the wolf over there um, has got a bit more of a realistic um, skin on it, a bit more of a realistic fur pattern. And um, it's the behavior as well of them is, is good. So the wolf obviously just biding its time, it's going to go for the sheep. There we go. Um, and llamas and stuff, they've all been touched up and the horses look a bit different. There's a couple of rabbits over there. Um, so yeah, no no brand new animals really, but uh, they do look good. And um, they make a little bit of a slightly more realistic change. I guess you could say they look a bit cuter, I don't know, but yeah, it's a good one. Amazing wildlife um, animals. Again, just takes you away from the site, redirected to the link there. Easy to download, easy to install. It worked fine in, in my version of Minecraft Education. Um, scroll down to the spawn eggs and uh, start grabbing a load of these. We've got an orca and sharks and stuff like that. Let's go for some lions. Um, you have a look at some a reindeer, I think would be quite cool. Yeah, let's shove a reindeer in. Uh, and another orangutan to compare it to the last one. And uh, we'll head out and start putting some of these down. Um, I think that's a sea lion there. Yeah, they don't they don't look bad. There's a giant tortoise. Again, there they are. It's a way of getting... Whoa, crikey, he's a very odd-looking guy, isn't he? That's the lion there. Um, again, the sizes are pretty important on this one. I think if there's animals that are the complete wrong size in relation to each other, it looks really odd. Uh, but this one's good. Again, link is in the description. I think the orangutan in this version looks better, actually. Sorry, whoever made it. But yeah, this version's looking a bit better. Um, so yeah, link's in the description to download this one. Next one, dinosaurs. Um, we've got the prehistoric um, beta add-on. Um, so yeah, this isn't finished yet, it's still in beta, but it works in Minecraft Education, so we'll have it. Um, scroll down to the eggs, to the spawn eggs, and look for the ones with the green text, and uh, just start throwing them in. They're pretty cool, these these are uh, it's a little tiny velociraptor there. Obviously, it's going after the cow. Um, they are natural enemies, the velociraptor and the cow. Whoa. Okay, so um, this is some kind of Diplodocus or something like that. That's really good. Um, it's massive, isn't it? I didn't think they'd be that big. I don't know what that is, some kind of... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't look very... Um, they don't look very happy with each other. 
I think this is going to cause a problem putting some of these guys down because they do change the behavior patterns as well. So some of this one looks a bit aggressive. He's off straight away. Um, let's uh, let's put a load of um, just a load of these guys down and see what they do. Um, and see how they interact with each other. That's the main thing as well because um, they don't always. Oh, crikey, there's a bit of a, a fight breaking out over there. Dinosaur fight, that's not good. There's also um, an important thing to remember is set your world settings to creative, but the difficulty to easy. Um, these guys are all heading off now. Oh, no. Yeah, they're after the pig. Oh, dear, guys. Yeah, the, so the dinosaurs um, are pretty violent creatures, as you might imagine. Uh, but yeah, good. This pack works really nicely. Um, so let's move across to Animacraft add-ons. And um, nice easy download, just click the resource pack and you do need to get the behavior pack as well. Um, click the link and wait five seconds for it to count down, skip add and it will redirect you to the link, nice and easy. They're all kind of the same, these ones. Uh, any ones that where, the, where it was really hard to download and the links didn't work very well, I just haven't included them. Um, uh, I've only included ones that uh, I found easy to download. Okay, so I've added a load of animals in there. These are the spawn eggs. Uh, so just hover over them and any that are not normally found in Minecraft. Uh, those are your extra ones. So we've got flamingos. Oh, these look really nice. These look good. Uh, nice attention to detail. Oh, the worm. Yeah, how do you animate a worm with just three little blocks? That's cool. Uh, so we'll throw a few of those down and see how they interact. I'm not sure they'll do much. A bee. That's pretty cool. I mean, the bee kind of looks a bit green to me, but okay. Another reindeer looks pretty similar to the last one, although that looks pretty good. Mice down there. Loads of animals you can add. Remember, guys, at the end of today's video, we're going to be mixing them all up and putting them all in there together. So um, you can imagine the dinosaurs and the worms together could could cause a little bit of chaos. Um, Arctic foxes are these? I don't know. We've got some snails. All the slime blocks getting involved. Oh, that's not good. Um, so yeah guys, we did the furniture video add-on a while ago, um, so make sure you check that out. The furniture is a little bit easier because you put it down and it just stays there. These guys are all over the place. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty good. So, guys, that's the, all of the um, add-ons that we're going to look at today. As I promised at the start of today's video, we are going to just throw a load of stuff down. We, I've activated all the different packs from today's videos, and we're just going to throw a load of stuff down and see what happens. Um, so let's throw a crocodile and some tigers and dinosaurs down and stuff like that. Um, now, important thing to remember with these, um, when you are creating a new world, you do need to activate the resource pack and behavior pack uh, for these to work. You need to have, you can be in creative, but you need the difficulty set to easy. If you have it set to peaceful, a lot of these um, creatures won't be available. Uh, because they are not, as you have seen, peaceful creatures. So make sure that you do that as well. And if you're having any problems, uh, like open, opening any of these files or anything, uh, my advice would be to just find the file in your downloads, right click it and go open with. And a few people on Mac were struggling with this. You do need to, it will by default say recommended apps, and you need to change that to all apps. And then you can select um, Minecraft Education Edition. And um, you can do some interesting stuff there. So, yeah, let's throw a load of snow leopards down and elephants and all kinds of stuff. They're actually just kind of chilling out. Most of these animals do not hate each other. The ones that do, uh, one tends to kill the other pretty quickly. Obviously, if you put down big stuff like the basking sharks and stuff, they need to go in water. So uh, if you put them on land, they're not particularly uh, pleased with that. Uh, but, yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Please make sure... Uh, that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you found it useful. And I will see you later uh, next week for some more videos. We'll do a few more lessons next week. And uh, I'll see you all next time.